<laughs> my true love now. The, the love affair of ice PC. <laughs> and you the, are the camera's on. Okay. So just put it wherever. I am I am me, Leroy Miller. Leroy Miller. Okay. And I am Jim Hasty. Jim Hasty. Okay. And Jim is Jim. Jim is Jim. What I got going on? So SBA is great water. SBA you already have your stretch loaded on here in the present? No. I'm trying to find it, but I could have done that. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Well, because it still needs. Oh, look. Now it finally popped up and asked me about the network. Oh, there you go. That was only after 20 minutes. That's weird. <laughs> you hooked it up here before, haven't you? It, they, I, it, it looks like they've changed names or something. Yeah, they did change names. It's uh, Midpoint. No. Midpoint Public. Something or other. And this thing must be downloading a, an update. Wouldn't surprise me. It does. And that will kill it. It's one of those that doesn't take much, and that's it. These little, the little Atom processors are, are nice, but they're slow. Yeah. They're good on power. Hopefully the later models, they've improved them. I hadn't, that one's six years, six, seven years old. So. Yeah, they're going to get better. Well, they are better. Yeah. Yeah. I've got, this is the Acer, the later <coughs> version, bigger screen, <coughs> only a couple hours. Of it. What you find out with these things is you can get a, a longer lasting battery pack. It's just the two feet stick out. Yeah. yeah, they're bigger. Then they're fine. That's what this has to get its eight out. Oh yeah. <coughs> the battery pack actually brings the back end up some, which is nice because it actually tilts the screen up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So when the batteries die on this thing, I'll get more than two hours. Yeah, that's that's really nice. Uh, and yeah. you get yeah. hours off of that thing. Yeah. I um, hope I hope it lasts. I forgot to charge it this week, so I you know, I, I shy away from doing those kind of tutorials because, you know, it's 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 cumbersome getting everything everything set up. But with something like that where you can just sit down almost any place and stop. And with, with the understanding it's it's not gonna look terribly professional and you're gonna get two knuckleheads talking about the camera. The downside <laughs> of that one is it doesn't have the uh, the screen on it. So you can't see what you're doing. Yeah. I mean because you're gonna record it and then you're gonna go back and edit it anyway. In theory yeah. it should be doing something. Oh you've got the library already? I went looking for one of those actually. After the one one of the meetings and didn't find anything, it's probably it's probably VGA quality. Huh? It's 720 feet. So. 720. Okay. Well, that's is that VGA? That's a little bit better than VGA. Okay. So VGA is is better than 720. I got you know those old cameras, uh, the old Sony cameras that sit on the tripod. Kind of three of them. It takes forever. The closet's not going to be able to do it. It takes forever to set them up and you know, then you have to uh, uh, scan the input and all that. Oh, you know what? Let's this try. thing, you got that card, you record it, you take it and you plug it in and you got your video and you're ready to go. You said this is on like on 27. I didn't change any of that. I think um, the the example comes with it um, at a 20. Sir? How, how do you turn on the TV display? Uh, it, sh it should have already been on. we sh we got to plug it in first. Did um, it come on the Did it that? Oh, a composite. Uh, 
Okay, uh, we have to ask Leroy. He plugged it in last time. I unplugged it. Did you put it back in? Is it composite? I, I think I unplugged it last time. <coughs> Somebody else plugged it back in. If you have the library, there's an example called Hello World. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can adjust it from up here. But I tried. I thought that I clicked on it. Hello the world. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Maybe I clicked on something. Else. I need you when you have a remote. Hmm. Oh, the back Hello. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. Are you putting out a picture now? Well, yeah. it should say something. Yeah. Else. Seven. Upload. Their example is not what I would. <laughs> we just want to see it work. That's that. <laughs> well, I'd be very surprised if you got working because I worked on it for hours. Oh, it's doing something now. Oh, what the? That's new or different. There's a power button, but the power is ignoring me. I just saw it flashing green. I just saw the guy come by. Can you grab him? Yeah, but don't hurt him. And he's probably not. Okay, why don't you get Leroy over here? Um, that's what they tell me. You don't believe what they tell you? <laughs> well, it wasn't working the way I was doing it, so. <clears throat> I'm going to go see if I can help Jim figure out something. When you unplug the power and it doesn't go off, is that a bad sign? <laughs> <laughs> it means it's infected. <laughs> is that taking over? That might mean well, that nobody should be messing with it. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, they've, in, they've invented AC power transmission. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's all right. You just need to hit the right button, Jim. Okay, did you get the, uh, what, which source did you select? I don't know, it just said <laughs> source. I just hit source oh, okay. a couple of times. And it works. Okay, magic. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was the black. Huh? <laughs> so, why don't you put that a little closer or something so that what we could actually see the screen? No. Something like that. Something like that. Now we, now we see Brian's lap. <coughs> Keyboard demo. I made this uh, board as you can see it. It's, um, it has the Let propeller, the parallax propeller on it, and um, I set it up. Like you have to put like resistors on here to make it output video. There's like three pins, I think, um, mm -hmm. starting on pin 12, and um, you just can like combine them all mm -hmm. to make the Mix the uh, um, signals yeah, coming off of it. Maybe mm -hmm. one on the right. Keep it down there a little bit. So, uh, for some reason, though, um, I guess when you press down on it, it shows what it really is supposed to be. But um, and what do you have connected to that monitor? Do you have the. Oh, you've got chat video. And okay. And do you have it connected? you got a composite? Mm hmm. Yeah, she's a few far away. Is that is that how you usually have it set up? Um, how I usually have like what? what I mean VGA. Uh, oh, this is just uh, one wire. This oh, is just a composite video. This is composite. 
right? The okay. reduced resolution. Okay, keyboard demo. Okay. So I was like a demo. Keyboard yep. hooked up to it um, to USB. Okay, got the keyboard connected there, USB. Mm -hmm. So you can type anything you want. Okay, the hex code on it. Oh, okay, so it's showing the hex code of what you press. So A should be 65 then? We're hoping. I think. If you. Let's see. Oh, okay, you can see the actual letters now. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. Take a stab at it anyway. And you type it and it appears on the screen. Okay. This is on get more complex you, know, you can do colors and stuff like that okay you're doing the colors um, I guess that's for like a you know how that um the one demo for the LCD um, I think it's doing the same thing where it like shows how many milliseconds it's been running <coughs> So this shows that the parallax can connect directly to the monitor. Do you have any other um, circuitry or everything is being done by the um, parallax? There's just uh, resistors and that's it. Okay. And now is <coughs> one processor doing everything? Uh, yep, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I think. Yeah, just one. So what are you, you going to do with the other seven? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I guess these are just uh, like demos of what you could you do. You could have them doing other tasks. Now this is uh, looks like this is character based, and some uh, graphics characters in the regular ASCII character set. Yeah. Okay. And looks like some of them might be wing days as well. Yeah, it's yeah. got an extended character set. Which you could, it looks like you could draw schematics and stuff with it. Yeah, you're just doing that straight off of the off the board off the chip. Yeah. Yep. Cool. And it's only using one processor. That's actually pretty impressive. Actually, still got seven processors to do other stuff. Okay. Okay, and there are the various. Okay, you got a mouse on it too. Wow. It's like mm -hmm. connecting a mouse to an Arduino. Wow. Mm-hmm. Those will be hex, hex uh, decimal for all the colors. Oh, okay. Two digit hex for all the colors. Mm -hmm. So, how many colors would that be? <coughs> Is it six? Well, I can't know. That's the fifty-six. Two fifty-six. That's uh okay. So now this is, this is that's sixteen bit. That should be that's eight bit. Like that's eight bit. Yeah. We got two. Oh, that's right. It's four per. Oh, okay, it's eight uh, bit. I'm just trying to still kind of imagine. Is this generating like an analog output? Um, I think I think so. It has like because you said only one resistor. Oh, like uh, there are like three resistors. There's three resistors all connected to to each other. Okay. And generate. But you have a composite coming out. So this is a like a PWM kind of thing. Um, I think, I think so. It's a PWM pin. It's a discrete pin or an analog pin. Um, I don't think there's any analog pins on here. They're just uh, digital. Pins. Okay. You'd have to add like a, I think a, um, a DAC to it. A D to A, yeah, to do an analog out. Okay. <coughs>
then there's this one. That's this one is with another program that you're running? Wow. Graphics. And um, I think there's two cogs running in this one where it controls the uh, mouse and the graphics. So you can move your mouse around like that. So this there is no graphics card on here at all. It's all software. It's all software. This is old school 8 bit graphics. Yeah, the cool thing is it's all in one chip. Yeah, well, it's just partial one chip. That's a real cool thing. You still could do a lot of other stuff. Yeah. It's an 8 bit or an 8 core chip. Yeah. Eight cores. Eight yeah. cores. That's amazing. What's this? What speed are we running at here? Is it a 16 meg or? What's um, your crystal? Uh, five megahertz. Uh, so it's, yeah, it's oh probably okay. 16. And I think in software it's like 80 megahertz. Like, like it has a uh, XIN frequency of uh, five megahertz and the a clock frequency at 80 megahertz. Where'd you get that? From. So is it um, on here like? So it does some kind of conversion. Uh, I think so. You usually the clock is faster. Usually. No. It. The propeller needs like a six, a six megahertz clock, and you can get some pretty decent speeds off of it. Yeah. It, 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 from the data sheet I read, it'll work without a clock. But yeah, it's got then you're then you're limiting what you can do with it. Yeah, it's got an internal clock. So the speed is what on the propeller processor? Depends on what kind of clock you're supposed to get. Yeah, depends on what what kind of crystal you got going on. That ain't, that ain't right. That must be a really tight loop. And finally, you can play uh, games on there too, like Snake. Crop Snake? Is that like Snakes and Ladders? Or? Snake. <coughs> snake. It's kind of like Turtle. That's, uh, you gotta go around and eat, eat a dot, and the snake grows longer. And, and you can't yeah. touch the snake and you can't touch the wall. Oh. So play a lot of games lately? <laughs> yeah. But this is actually a pretty cool game. And it goes faster. Yeah. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. There you go. Alright, you give some dots. Or you the, the, the long the the snake gets longer and boom. Yeah. The you wall. hit the wall. <laughs> <laughs> End of life. Ellie. This was actually this this little board was soldered on there to start with, wasn't it? Hmm? Like not at all. No, I soldered it on there. Didn't you? Can also be pawn muscle. Oh boy, that, <coughs> that brings back memory. Mmm, <coughs> fun. Oh. Oh yes, for about a week. Oh, that's now great. <laughs> now imagine <laughs> the Pong console that Atari came out with probably had twenty or thirty chips in it. <laughs> yeah. I remember I had one that connected to the TV. Yeah. And I don't know if you played this game before. Um, it's another old one. It's uh, I think Lunar Lander. Lunar Lander. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I got that on my phone. Doesn't work, but it's fun. <laughs> Had it on the TI fifty nine. Did you make this code yourself? No, these are like uh, for. There's like this um, like something called Hydra, and it's like a game console for the propeller. Okay, I've heard of Hydra. So you just went and got the Hydra code. And no, isn't yeah. Hydra, isn't that the enemy in yeah. uh, the Avengers? Yes, it is. Hydra, they keep coming back. Yeah, can't get rid of those guys. Keep the series going. Keep <laughs> going. <laughs> you lost your crash line. Your crash, crash, boom. Yeah.
Find the flashing landing zone. Mm -hmm. And finally, there is this one. How are you selecting these different games? I'm, I'm uploading them into the, the Flash RAM. Oh, okay. So from your laptop? Mm -hmm. no, one at a time. Yeah. This is like, this is like Frogger. <coughs> sort of. Oh yeah, you oh, have to get all the way to the top. Sort of like Frogger. Mm -hmm. Do you remember a game called Dig Dug? Mm -hmm. Dig Dug, one of my favorite games. My, my twins used to love that thing you know, when they were about five, four. <laughs> Dig yeah. Dug? What kind of game is that? There's one like that, you know, where you uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, you have to get the stars and everything. Uh, yeah. You get one down very easily. Yeah. Dig, Dig Dug, that was the one that um, <laughs> you dug underground. Yeah. That was a fun game. Galaga was my game. Mm. Why'd you die there? Why'd you die there? Can you, are you, will you fall through the holes if they pass under you? Uh -huh. <laughs> Jump! Oh, that's uh, what's the other game? Jump! With, 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 with Luigi and what's the other Mario. game? Mario. Mario. Mario, Super Mario. Super Mario. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, you know, the this, uh, Matt? Hydra, Hydra was something the Parallax came up with and I don't know, do they still have sell the hydras? Um, I think I think so. It was it was a little mini computer. Mm. It had basic on it and some other stuff. But it was all based off of that propeller chip. <laughs> <laughs> you heard of something called the, the coding hour? No. It's kind of like this push to get all across the country to get kids to code for one hour. And they have a website a called code code dot what just just one time period. Oh. What they want to do is just even get it introduced. Right. Because it used to be uh, Zuckerberg actually does a little commercial, and he said he started off by drawing a circle. This is in the basic, and you know you get fascinated by that circle that you draw, and then you start doing things with the circle. Yeah. And then you just go on to do other stuff. And right. so that's how they really got into it. Next thing you know, you're you're designing Halo. And yeah. Whatever. <laughs> And, and creating Facebook, creating Facebook. right down the road. <laughs> <sighs> you didn't bring your truck. You didn't bring the other one, did you? Uh, no, I'll go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have an L, uh, I2C LCD. Does that work? Adapter uh, that works. I've never. You've never hot it up any of them. I don't know if I, mine were I two C. I don't no, think. No, my I bought an I two C because because I'm going to get an I two I two C adapter. I see now. I see it coming. Hey, there it is. <laughs> Commodore sixty four. Commodore basic. Hmm. Whoa. Now, now it gives me a reason to go and get another <laughs> oh, <no>. propeller chip. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I don't think this game works. Um, some of the emulators have problems with some of the games. Yeah. You can play, uh, I think, um, S and the S games on here too. Wow. Ryan, you, you you have brought something brought more brought more joy to my life. <laughs> oh no. I actually was using the Raspberry Pi for an emulator platform for a while, but it lasted for a while. This looks more intriguing. There should be tons of games out there now, right? For your for your phone, even. I've got I've got some emulators on my phone. My freedom is anyway. I uh, this is a router. I was using. No. 
That oh, is the yeah. uh, spy hunter. Or spy driver. Yeah. Oh, it's a car. That's the one that gets. Dun 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 That's Peter Gunn. Yeah, Peter Gunn. Dad, I know these old things. Well, you probably had a lot of hours invested. Eventually, a truck will pull up alongside and you drive the car into the truck and you come back out with different and better weapons. Uh, <laughs> so those dots coming out of the front? Are supposed to be machine guns and I don't think the game's working 100%. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's close. He hasn't had to move since he started. He's hit another car and it hasn't collided with him yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> No, I can't control it. They, they call it Spy Driver. This is a, a, it's a cheap clone of the original. <laughs> well, he's scoring points. <laughs> just sitting there. He <laughs> get a new record if he just leaves it for a week. You got Mule on there? I have what? Mule? The old. The old it's an old Commodore 64 game. Um, I'm not really sure. Okay. What, what's that game about? It. You crash land on a planet and you have to have it uh, build it up and you get a mule. You get that, a mule. That's it's an electronic mule and you have to use the mule to go and mine for whatever or whatever. Hmm. What was the name of the other game? That was better. It's kind of like that. You had, you had a civilization. Because I remember Brian like that. You know, he'd kill off all the people. My younger son. Was it? Was he'd it? Talk to his mother. <laughs> was Why it? all the people dying? Because you moved a nuclear plant next to him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sin City, man? Sin City. Yeah. Yeah. He was crazy about that. Oh, he had civilization, too. There was civilization. Do you have anything like Blue Max? Uh, Blue Max? It's German, German Air Force. I don't think, I don't think I do. There's a bunch of games in here that don't really work. But, um, like I have, um, let me see, um, Planetary Defense. I don't know if that's like a different name for something. I have Frog on here. I have Simon Says, I think, um, Donkey Kong. If it's in the Commodore 64 game later, it's a cheap clone of the original. Cheap, cheap clone. Whatever happened to Commodore 64? What happened? What went wrong? Radio Shack TRS-80? <laughs> <laughs> Could be it. Yeah. Because I never had a Commodore. I had a TRS-80. I had multiple TRS-80s. Oh, you went for the gold. I actually had the good TRS-80. TRS-80 Model 2. Eight inch two guard drive. I still got it. Eight inch drive. Eight inch two guard drive. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Was CPM? It, it was six hundred or eight hundred K. It was it was huge. So what no, nobody had that much. You can never fill it up. Yeah. The car supply is bad now. So whatever happened to CPM? CPM went to Microsoft way. This kid gave him basically nothing and got the best operating system going. Bill Gates. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what a dealer. What a dealer. He wasn't very business savvy. He was very technically savvy. He was a really smart guy. Okay, well, I think I've made it worse. It didn't work, so you can't really make it work. <laughs> That's the good part. When you get something that's broke already, it's hard to it's it's hard, hard to, to go screw it up. Down, yeah. <laughs> that's what I like. It's mm -hmm. broke, it doesn't work. Okay. I guess I'll have to order a couple more of those ITCs, but I won't order them from the same place. Get them already attached to the board. Do you have something? They don't, they don't sell them like that. 
do, do my you? Day, my day is already affected. Uh, you know, one of my conclusions with IPC, especially with these clocks, and you need something to be able to monitor this stuff so that you know what's coming out of it. Because you know, it looks like software is okay, it looks like everything is okay. But you know, you could have one edge of something off and it's yeah. not going to work at all. Kind of like that. Is that a logic analyst? It's just blinking. Oh, no, yeah. It, it should it that. should be doing something. Oh yeah. yeah, you can get it, but it's expensive. Three dollars and twenty five cents. With them already attached. Yeah. I spent three dollars and twenty five cents because I didn't want to have to go you? through this. <laughs> Do you have a link you can send me? Because I looked on eBay, I couldn't find any that work. Sure. I'll send you the, uh, it, the link. It it's worth spending the money. <laughs> Get them already attached. I didn't have any. Yeah. I didn't have any problem. <coughs> that's actually now this one may not have. I don't see the push buttons on it. You may have it. Maybe this, this one doesn't have push buttons. Don't need push buttons. Okay. It's, it's just a wall 1602 with an I2C adapter plate already attached to it. There, it's it's nice. Well, you can get the push buttons and the display, and ooh, it's for nice and all. And the 16-bit chip. The one you got, I mean, it does all of them. Well, this one you got to use two chips to get 16. Yeah. If and with the these other cheaper chips. If I had, if I had a guess, let's say your soldering iron was too hot and you actually melted something else on the board. I guess that's a possibility, but I use that iron a lot. I, I believe you, and I believe you know how to to do this, but it's only a guess. Yeah. But, I mean, it is a possibility, yeah, definitely. Yeah, see, the thing is, is you need <coughs> some way to troubleshoot. Yeah, there's... How do you do that without some kind of logic analyzer? Logic analyzer, scope. I've convinced myself. I've convinced I put a scope on that. I put a scope on that. And, yeah, and there's... You know, it's doing stuff. And especially since its actual control chips are just blobs. I mean, that's the blobs can't help you one bit. It doesn't even tell you what it's actually controlling. Mm -hmm. My other thought would be, and this is just a off the wall kind of thought. This is a uh, I2C. There, there is a uh, this kind of a, uh, a, a a logic that's understandable to the timing diagram that's happening the bit. Do you want the uh, PGA yeah. connection? Uh, if you send so. And, you know, if you had a logic analyzer or, or even a, a scope with two channels, you know, you could yeah. link the thing and you could look at what a bit going across. Like yeah. that. I did. I did. You put a scope on it with two channels. And you could you I see? Did yeah. it look okay? Yeah. Still look okay? Yeah. yeah. Probably some wiring or. And where did it look okay? I mean, yeah. did, did it I'm look sorry. okay? <laughs> On the output coming out? Yeah, I put it on the SDA chip, uh, on the yeah. SDA line, I think it was. Yeah. If you. Maybe something's wrong with your, your board there. Uh, mm, I don't. Well, maybe. If you look at how this guy's got his wired up, mm -hmm. he's got it flipped over exactly backwards. Oh. That's my other thought, was maybe this is on reverse. That would that. make it difficult. Yeah, because because this is ten sixteen, I believe, and this is ten one. They have to match. Yeah, I'll have to desolder it and take it off. That's my only other thought. Never even thought. Of it. Well, he's also got it on the top, <laughs> which yeah. I guess is how you would flip it over. Yeah, but it makes it really hard to mount it somewhere like that. I think I'll just buy another one. My when I bought when I bought it already on there it was just like this yeah but they make obviously they make different it, his pins are also in different spots yeah it's a different chip different board it's a different board but it's very similar so okay well thanks Brian I'm just this may be the thing though yeah I mean, it, it may it may be upside down yeah I don't know. I don't know. There's obvious. There's no obvious 
Fine, I don't have it working if you didn't get your... No, no I don't have it working. Uh, okay. As a matter of fact... I'm, I'm gonna pass it back to you. I, I, I have some theory. <laughs> I'm done. I would, I would too. But it's I'm, I'm pretty uh, pretty comfortable with the, the software. I've, I've hit there. stuff. But I mean, you know, like just just coming out of it. It happens. I'm just doing you know, with the clock like and the data. I mean, I know where it's there, but you know, there's nothing I can do. I can check the wiring. And it's hard for me to do that. I can't even. I don't see it that well. <laughs> Are we plugged up? Uh, should be. Oh, wait. We gotta change, change the mode. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Distort button. Yeah. Leroy better do it. Okay. It doesn't work when I do it. Leroy, I understand how the TV works, apparently. That is your gift to humanity. I don't know if that's a good gift or a bad gift. There you go. That should be it. No. That should be you. That's Frank. That's a good sign. Oops. Frank. We want to try to do a screen capture, Leroy, with the camera, or it didn't work real well last time. Okay. Um. I don't, I, I don't need this. It didn't really work real well the last time. That might work a little better. Okay. Some of the interesting things to study because it's got some history that I didn't know about. Um, these, this uh, ICC was used initially for like control functions, but as a matter of fact, the FM bus that <coughs> Microsoft has was based on it, except it was a little bit more restricted. You know, it's, it's, it's a loose protocol, so depending on who's designing the chip and what kind of parameters they want, they tweak ICC to be whatever they need to be. Um, and it's, you know, it's been used in embedded systems for a long time. This is something that I got from somewhere, you know, one of the documents on it, which is kind of the, the diagram. And it shows you the, the data, and the data has to be, clock has to be going in a certain direction, 